These five mistakes I'm about to share with you are, without exaggeration, responsible for 95 to 99% of all bad trips. Now, I know, I know, some people say, hey man, you know, there is no such thing as a bad trip, man. Everything is a learning experience. You know that one time I had a bad trip, man? I learned so much. It was just a, it was a fantastic learning experience. Well, I'm not gonna take that away from you because there are certain trips that are not bad, I wouldn't call them bad, I would call them unpleasant, that are a learning experience, but there are such things as bad trips, my friends. You ever heard of um, Dante's Inferno, where he describes hell? Some people have these bad trips where they go to a state of consciousness known as hell, and it is terrifying, it is unnecessary, and it is for the most part un unavoidable. Uh, avoidable. Okay, for the most part, it is avoidable. And that's the purpose of this video, is to make sure that you're avoiding having those really terrifying bad trips. I'm not talking about you crying and feeling sadness and, and just, you know, having your heart open and feeling the suffering and the pain of your relatives, your mom or others. I'm not talking about that. Those aren't bad trips. Those are the, man, it's a learning experience, man. No, 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 no. I'm talking about Dante's Inferno type shit, okay? I'm talking about going to hell. I'm talking about being in contact with basically demons, you know, and, and having them whisper all kinds of nasty things in your head and telling you you're, you're worthless, blah, 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 okay? That's a bad trip. And again, for the most part, those are avoidable, all right? They're unnecessary. You don't need to experience them. You don't want to experience them, believe me. Okay, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. Every point is just as equally important for you to, to really take note of and avoid making the mistakes. All right, so number one, and this one, pay attention to it because a lot of people, I, I don't see many people talking about this one specifically. Okay, and that is empty your intestines. Okay, do not take magic mushrooms, do not take LSD, do not take any psychedelic on uh, a clogged up intestines, if you're constipated, if you couldn't take a proper poo poo for a few days, if you feel unpleasant sensations in your in your intestines, which are just the result of a blocked blocked intestine, most humans have blocked intestine. You know, most the vast majority of humans, right? If you're feeling some pain, painful sensations there, if you if you're having trouble on the toilet, uh, if you just don't feel pleasant in the stomach area. Do a cleanse, cleanse out the intestines. So the best thing you could do is go on, I'll give you a few, a few different ways to do this. And I'm gonna explain to you why this is so, 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 so important. Uh, do 48 to 72 hours on any liquid. Okay, that's a bit of, because <laughs> some people are like, oh, okay, I can drink alcohol for, for three days in a row. Okay, when I say liquid, I mean either do go on water, uh, even better coconut water because coconut water will actually stimulate bowel movements uh, or some kind of uh, vegetable juice or fruit juice uh, cleanse. Uh, anywhere for 48 to 72 hours, I highly recommend coconut water or just a juice cleanse. Uh, I, I recommend them over water. The reason is they are much better at instigating bowel movements. With water is... Uh, is not very good at instigating bowel movements and the whole purpose of this cleanse is to is to give a quick cleanse to the intestines just a quick one yeah where you feel pleasant there you feel like okay wow i i feel pretty pretty empty there i feel a nice sense of emptiness i don't feel those pain painful sensations that i have after a meal or something okay very important and i'm going to tell you this and i've seen this happen over and over with my friends the main reason people uh, throw up after taking mushrooms and not everybody does but it's pretty common I've seen it with my friends quite a few times uh, is because they uh, they either ate weren't in a fasted state they, they mean they had a meal just a couple of hours ago or their intestines were too too toxic there was too much toxicity in there so at the very least, 48 hours to 72 hours, it will prevent you more than likely from throwing up or feeling unpleasant sensations in there. Okay, nausea and things like that, right? It'll be very mild. It'll be very mild, okay? As opposed to, oh my God, I gotta throw up. You know, that, that alone is gonna ruin your trip, man. Okay, that alone is gonna ruin your trip. 
Okay, so 48 to 72 hours on a liquid cleanse, coconut water or, or, some, or juice cleanse, okay? And, and another thing um, is if you're not going to do that, at the very least, 16 to 24 hours with nothing, just water, okay? That's also, trust me, that you do not want to eat something. Like you do not want to have a meal and then a couple of hours later take mushrooms or LSD. It is unpleasant. It is very unpleasant. The sensations are unpleasant. Uh, the potency isn't as strong actually, okay? An empty, on an empty stomach, uh, your body's ability to absorb is stronger. So for instance, you know, when you drink coffee on an empty stomach, you feel, you feel more of a buzz. When you have a cigarette on an empty stomach, you feel more of a buzz. So it applies the same thing for psychedelics, okay? So I don't want to spend too much time on this point, but it's very important, guys. Very, very important. Empty out those clogged up intestines and be in at least a minimum of a 16-hour water fast or coconut water fast or some kind of a liquid fast going into it. I, you know, I, for me, prefer to just be on a two, three day fasted state on coconut water or juices or something. Okay, so that's number one. Very important. Very important. Trust me, very important. Don't underestimate this. Number two, what I've got in there. Yeah, wrong person. Yeah, if you're going to do this with the wrong person, see, psychedelics are magnifiers. If you're going to do this with someone you do not 110% trust with your life, you trust to cry in front of, you trust to laugh in front of, you trust to uh, take a shit in front of, you feel completely embraced by that person, paranoia can creep in and that can lead to hell. That can lead to Dante's Inferno, my friend. Okay? Make sure you 100% trust that person. If you're, going to, if you're choosing to do it with someone, that is. Okay? Make sure, you, make sure you're comfortable crying in front of them because you might cry a river. Make sure you're comfortable shitting in front of them because who knows, you might shit a river or whatever it is, right? Just be comfortable in front of them. That's my point. If you're not, there is always going to be that risk of paranoia kicking in and that's going to be Dante's Inferno. That's going to be terrible. That's going to be hell. All right? So, uh... These days, I mean, I haven't done, I haven't touched psychedelics in seven, eight months, but I do prefer to do them alone. I do prefer to do them alone. And I think that's where you're going to get the, the absolute most value out of psychedelics. I've had fantastic times with friends, fantastic times, but the, the most life-changing uh, trips were alone. So, but anyway, if you're going to do it with a person, make sure it's someone you 110% trust. Number three... What do we got here? Ah, oh, yeah, wrong environment. Guys, don't go to near a bar or a nightclub or something like that. Don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. Have some respect for the psychedelic. Have some respect for the experience. Do it in a sacred spot. Do it in a, in a spot, in, a, in either a controllable spot like your house. You can put incense and... Just make it so wonderful, keep it clean and tidy, you know, after all, cleanliness is godly. Um, keep it, keep your house tidy, just make, make, make it, make it sacred, make, you know, put, make, make it, put it, do it in a sacred environment or go out in nature and do it. That's always been my favorite. And every time I, I tried to do it at home, I always ended up going to nature. Just after an hour when the trip kicked in, I'm like, all right, peace out, mother nature's calling me. All right, so do it somewhere with that. Do it in a high vibrational environment where the vibrations are more harmonious, okay? Don't go to some, somewhere chaotic. Don't go somewhere with a lot of people, okay? That, just Even if it's a pretty cool spot, just trust me. You don't want that many people around. Okay, a bar, that's a nightclub, that's... Come on, that's a no-brainer. Just, just please don't do that. Don't, don't invoke the spirit of the mushroom. Um, or if you're, if you're doing LSD or whatever, don't, don't invoke the, the, the Holy Spirit in, in a bar or a nightclub. You don't want to do this in any chaotic environment. If the environment, the more chaotic the environment is, the more there is, right? Even like a concert. You know what I mean? Just do it somewhere peaceful, calm, where, where the vibrations are calmer. Yeah? It's, there's more order, more structure, and less chaos. 
So nature is wonderful. Go, go to somewhere where it's not frequented by people. Uh, or just do it in your home. Right? Uh, like honestly, like I can just quickly here show you, show you like my house right now here is the perfect environment for this. Okay, I'm gonna quickly show to give you an example of what a nice environment is. So there's the house, there's the garden. Okay, I'm not saying you gotta do it in a house like this. I'm just showing you an example so you know. There's a big garden here. We have privacy here. Okay, and uh, yeah, as you can see, that's that's the place pretty much nice cabin so you know this this is I'm, I'm giving you an example here okay honestly be living in an apartment building and do it in in a in, in a in a make you know make your environment nice and orderly and structured and beautiful and incense and wonderful music and you could do it there and you could have the best time of your life but my point being look at the order here look at this look at the the the, the peace look at the calm there isn't people there's a lot of privacy okay especially the higher the dose the more the higher the dose, the the less the, the the less you want to be around people. Trust me, trust me. It, it gets really chaotic. Okay, like the higher the dose, it's like woof, you know, woof, you know. It's, it's it's just you want to be around the less the least amount of chaos and the least amount of people. Uh, so that's number three. Number four, uh, don't try to control the trip. Like, like you might go in with an intention. Let's say, uh, all right, okay, I am going in. I'm going to find out what my past life is, right? I'm going to find out what my most recent uh, life is. I tried to do that once. And then, uh, and then the trip kicked in and I could care less about what my past life is because I had something more urgent that I needed to learn. I had something more I needed to know in the moment something completely different something completely different than, than the past life had i resisted that and i'm like i must know my past life no, no, no. that can also lead to inferno's hell because then you start to try to control the trip you try to control the lessons you need to 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 to, to hear you try to control the flow of the Tao, the flow of things the flow of the force and it's not gonna it's not gonna end up well for you it really isn't it, cr it creates resistance and friction you don't want that you don't want that believe me so don't try to control it surrender to it the, the spirit of the mushroom and the site overall those plant medicines or psychedelics are very benevolent and loving and they want to help you but they do require your total surrender they do require your total uh, submission and you're submitting not like a slave submitting you're submitting uh, out of uh, to an authority that loves you and cares for you you see uh, so don't try to control it just surrender to the experience surrender to the to the way it is all right that's that's a common mistake people make it's not gonna end up well I'm telling you right now all right number five very important guys very important very 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 important muy 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 importante is integrate even if you've done all of this good cleaned out the intestines done it with a proper proper environment with a proper person you didn't you surrender you had a wonderful experience if you do not integrate it it ends up being just a nice positive experience that didn't really change didn't really make significant impact on your life so how do you integrate I can make a separate video for this but quickly I will tell you journal everything that you've learned I what I used to do in, in the crazy days where I would do I would do so much psychedelics in the psychedelic era I call it the psychedelic phase um, after the trip I would spend a couple of weeks just anything that comes to my mind I would write it down and I would put the papers on the walls everywhere in my apartment and I would just read them and brainwash myself with them over and over like one time I had this revelation uh, love equals understanding so I wrote it down on paper and I wrote it on my wall every day I'd read it over and over and over and over and over and over Okay, that's how you integrate it. You want to push the message across to your subconscious mind, to your to your to the depths of your being. Say, "Hey, those this is how we're becoming now. This we're more loving, we're more compassionate. Love equals understanding. Compassion equals understanding. Anything that comes to you, integrate it by writing it down, by reading those things over and over, by contemplating on it. And any lessons that the mushroom uh, or the whatever the psychedelic is uh, helped you with, start to implement it right away." If suddenly you get this revelation, must meditate two hours a day, well, get up the next day and get going. 
don't let this be a waste. Don't let this be an experience that was just a fun experience, but not really didn't really impact your life all that much because you did not act on the lessons. You did not act on the revelations. That's extremely important. Integrate the lessons into your daily life, okay? So that's about it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.